So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can create a data link using Excel and AutoCAD. Uh, we've actually got two tables in this file and what we want to do is import each one by itself. So to do this, what we'll do is create a range name for each table. It'll just make it easier to import. We'll just call this one table one. Then we can create another named range for this table and we'll call that table two. Save the document and that should be all we need to do right now with our Excel file. If we go into AutoCAD, um, what we want to do is create our data link. So we go to insert table and we want to insert the table from the data link. We create a new Excel data link. And just for a point of reference, we'll call this one T1 and we will go to get that file path. So this is the actual file that those two tables are in. And we'll just open that up. And if you um, you can actually import the entire sheet, but we don't want to do that. What we want to do in this case is import each specific table. So you can see that there's a name range there called table one. The preview box isn't entirely working properly but we can just go ahead and import that click OK there it is just the table one and I'll just put that at zero 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 I'll just type the coordinates down into the command line and that is table one. We can go again back up here, import the other table. Again, we'll create a new data link. And this time we'll call it T2. And go back to find the file. And we'll go ahead and import the named range table two. I'll just offset that. And that's it. You have two individual data links created. So if we want to go ahead and actually make changes to this table or the other one, we can click on a cell and go up the top and unlock. That way we can make changes to each cell. In this case, we'll just change that thickness to 20 and we need to update the links for this. So what we can do is right click on the cell Go to data links and upload user changes to source file. And there is the notification to say that that is done. So if we go back into our file, you'll see that that change has been made. That's it. Now if we go over to the other table, and if we make a change here, we'll just change that quantity to five. We'll save the file, close out of it, and then we can update this table. So again, we'll right click on a cell, download changes from source file, and you'll see that that will have been updated. And that's it. As easy as that. If you find this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe.